With a growing concern that a second wave is gaining steam in the U.S., the CDC is looking at the role young adults are now playing in the spread. New research suggests they may be the sparks for new virus hotspots. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain. Doc? Yeah, Kim, you know, we've seen a clear trend of rising cases in younger adults, but those infections don't stay in the younger age groups. They spread to older family members and the surrounding community. As the number of COVID-19 cases climb in most states, the CDC says it's discovering a pattern. The percentage of positive coronavirus test results start going up among those under 25 about a month before the county is designated as a virus hotspot. Just by looking at someone, you cannot tell if they're infected. Dr. Deborah Burks from the White House Coronavirus Task Force says part of the problem is a large amount of asymptomatic spread in younger people. When you start to look at these college data, that may be up to 80% of individuals under 30 are asymptomatic, and we're still getting the data from all of the colleges. CDC researchers say tracking positive test rates by age group could help public health officials identify future hotspots and target efforts more effectively. Dr. Burke says it's also important to identify those who are asymptomatic. The way you find that is the way the universities are finding it, regular testing. And if you wait till people have symptoms, you've waited too long because there's so much asymptomatic spread before that. As temperatures get cooler, Burks urges everyone of all ages to keep their masks on and their guards up. Now, some public health departments are now reaching out to influencers in younger age groups in the hopes of spreading the message about the importance of masks, social distancing, and the risks associated with those gatherings. Well, Frank, now that we're heading into the fall and winter months, the holiday season, how concerning would you say are these trends? Well, you know, Kim, it's a huge concern. We know some college students and young adults are going to be socializing for Halloween. We know they'll be heading home for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Frankly, the numbers are heading in the wrong direction, and we all need to buckle down again and do our part to stop it. That's Back right. to you. Yep, yep. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, thank you.